Hey everybody, it's Sarah, Lonesome Glory, and today I thought we would talk about the Briarfest 2021 exclusive model. So as all of you know, Briarfest 2021 is next week. It is an online virtual event only, but Briar has still come out with a huge slate of special run models that are only available to ticket holders for the event. There are a few levels of tickets that are kind of changed up from normal. There's the VIP ticket, the general ticket, and something else that has replaced single day tickets. And there are exclusive models that go with each of those. So I thought today that I would talk about those models and essentially just kind of tell you what I think of them, let you know which ones I picked up with my VIP ticket and which ones I had put highest on my list for my other tickets. Um, but you might notice the pineapple in the room. So let me kind of explain. When Briarfest is live in person at the horse park and at the Clarion in Kentucky, my mom and my aunt and I have a room at the Clarion Inn and we are the pineapple room. We decorate the entire room with pineapples and we advertise with pineapple themed signage in the halls of the Clarions. And when I say pineapple themed, I really just mean there are pineapples on the signs. Our signs are fairly nonsensical and really are just riffs on some of my favorite movie quotes, music, things that I find funny. But it's been two years. We haven't gotten to decorate the pineapple room. We haven't gotten to make up new signs or do anything like that. So I thought I would try to have a little pineapple based fun while talking about the models this year. So I have a pineapple. I have a giant cutting board that you guys can't see, but it is quite alarmingly large. It's, it's, it's huge. I have a bowl. And I have a knife, which might be a little dangerous. You guys have seen some of my unboxing videos. Anyway, I figured while I was chatting about some of the horses, I would cut up this pineapple and then I would just have pleasant pineapple smell and pleasant pineapple fruit in my house. Also, while we're chatting, I will be drinking this lovely pineapple based cocktail that I've mixed up. It has jalapeno vodka and two or three other ingredients, including pineapple juice. So we're just going to have a pineapple themed video today. So I hope you guys like watching somebody cut up fruit. I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, talking about the horses um, really doesn't give me a lot to do while I'm sitting here. I do have over here kind of where my hand is waving behind the pineapple. Um, a laptop that I'm going to be scrolling through from time to time to remind me of which models I need to talk about. So all of that said, and pineapple based hilarity ready, let's get started. All right, so we're going to start with the horses that come with tickets. This is the traditional horse, the celebration model, and the four single day models as they're usually known, Briar's calling them, um, event stable mates this year. But the celebration model this year is Dinesh's Northern Tempest, who is an absolutely stunning Bay Leopard Appaloosa on uh, the True North Mold. I was going to blank on that name there for a second. I'm thrilled with this horse. I love the color. I'm really glad that I'm going to get uh, a couple of them. I think I've got three tickets total. So I'm really looking forward to him. I think they did a beautiful job. I hope that the actual production models that we get are just as good as the model that they have uh, shown us pictures of online because I am in love. I know there was a huge controversy with the um, Appaloosa on the Geronimo mold earlier in the year. Uh... I'm not going to lie, I think we got a bit of a windfall getting this guy because I love this mold better than Geronimo. 
I think this horse is gorgeous. I'm looking forward to it. So I don't have a whole lot to say about that. It's, it's not going to be rare. Everybody who buys a ticket is going to get it. So that's kind of all I have to say. The stable mates. I really think Brian did a good job with these too. Oh, I'm going to point out right now and I'm going to wave a knife at you guys as I do this. I have cut up a pineapple once before in my life. So I know I'm doing it wrong. I honestly don't care. <laughs> um, I'm cutting it up just for fun. Um, so if I, if it looks like I don't know what I'm doing, it's because I don't and we're just going to go with it. Okay. Can we agree to that, please? Thank you. Okay. Um, let's go back to talking about the stable mates. The stable mates are really good. I think they did a great job. They selected some good molds. The only mold I'm not super crazy about is Dada, the blue, I think they call it their endurance Arab. I just, the mold always seemed a little wonky to me. But there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not my cup of tea. I do think the color and the pattern they chose for it is absolutely gorgeous. So I like that. I like the pattern and the kind of um, green, coppery looking color on Nouveau. I think Rococo actually looks like a real horse color. Um... I kind of wish that they'd gone a little farther and pushed it a little more gold, but I understand the, what they were going for here. And there is nothing cuter than the uh, Fjord mold in purple. I have a full set of them coming because I do have the, the VIP ticket. So I'm really, really looking forward to getting these guys in hand. I don't have a ton to say about the ones that everybody gets with their tickets. But now we're getting into the actual special runs. These are the runs where you had to buy either the general admission ticket or a VIP ticket in order to purchase two of them. There are, I think, eight this year. And Breyer really did a good job with these models. I am pretty excited about... I think about four of them, <laughs> um, which honestly, me being very excited to own half of them is, is a thing. So I'm just going to start at the top of Briar's list. The first one that they have listed is Uffington, which is the white uh, cream horse on the brand new Akaltiki mold. This horse is uh, one that I selected to get with my... Um, VIP ticket. That's how excited I was about him. So I am, I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to seeing him in person. I hope he's as nice as the promo pictures. Um, but the color looks great. I think it's going to be about the same color as the um, special that they did for one of the Collectors Club special events on the um, Bobby Joe mold a couple of years ago. And if it's that color, I've seen that model in person and that is, that is stunning. We're, we're going to be really, really happy. So looking forward to that one. The next model is um, probably the one I'm the least excited about. It's a uh, Peck Merle on the John Henry mold. And Credit where it's due, it's a lovely Appaloosa pattern. The John Henry mold has just never been one of my favorites. And even this color and this pattern, which looks so nice, it, it's just not going to convince me that I want to own this. So I, I got to hand it to Briar for picking out um, an older mold and making it look really good but it, it's not my cup of tea. After that one, next on their list is Gran Cavallo. This is the Peruvian Paso mold in um, kind of a dark bay extreme pinto. It's lovely. 
Um, you guys might have seen on Facebook a while back that somebody was accidentally sent a couple of horses. Um, I happened to know that person, and I got to see this horse in person um, at an event. It's stunning. And I kind of wish after seeing it in person that I put it a little higher on my master list for um, my tickets. I didn't. I put it about third, I think, maybe fourth. But I did put it on the list at least, so I'm glad for that. Um, I, but I've always been a fan of this Peruvian Paso mold, so hopefully I'll be able to pick one up. Next up is Surat, who is the new Frisian mold in a really pretty Palomino. And as much as I, I really do want one of these, I put him pretty high on my list. I think even higher than um, the Pasifina or the Pas Peruvian Paso. Oh, can't talk. I put him even higher on my list than that. Um, my only issue is a Palomino, or Palomino Frisian. Uh, finding a place to show him is going to require some uh, finesse. Um, but I do, I really like the mold. I like the um, one from the... Premier Club that I got, so I'm looking forward to seeing him in other colors. Then there's uh, Gnosis the Bull, and if I'm pronouncing these wrong, sorry. As, as per always on this channel, I am going to mispronounce things and then be sorry about it. Um, he's a really cool bull. They did a really good job on him. Um, but I don't, I try not to collect them. I'm sorry I'm drifting out of frame. It's the pineapple. I'm trying to clean up after it. <laughs> um, anyway, he's really pretty. I put him on my list pretty low. Um, I think the only thing that was on the list after him was the John Henry. My dad collected the bulls very heavily. He really liked them. Um, and if he were here, we'd have to have this guy. But I just don't keep them anymore. I don't keep buying them. So, you know, I really like him. I know that he's going to be popular with collectors who collect the other animals. And I think they did a good job. I just don't particularly want one. The next one is Tassili. Tassili? I can't tell if those are I's or L's on my screen. It is very small. But it is the Pinto on the uh, Marwari mold. Um, to me, it kind of looks like that George auction model. Just a little less red. Um, it also looks like it's going to be glossy, which they may or may not have announced when they announced this model, and I just have forgotten. Um, either way, it is pretty. I do like it. Um, I just don't like it as well as some of the other horses that they've announced this year. Like I said, they did a pretty good slate, and that made choosing what I wanted fairly difficult. So, he, he's very nice. They did a good job. I'm just not as impressed with him as I am with some of the others, which honestly isn't a non-compliment this year. They, they did a really good job, so it's hard to choose which ones I like over which ones I want to own, which is kind of cool. Uh, next up is Pollock. I love him. <laughs> And that's all I have to say. No, I'm kidding. Um, I ordered a Pollock with my VIP ticket, so I already know I have one of those coming. I don't really have anything bad to say about it. They did a rainbow decorator on Vallegro. And as much as I try desperately not to buy decorators, 
they, they got me with this one. The gold, the, the only negative that I have to say about it is I'm not sure why they named him Pollock. Because he does not, in any way that I can tell, resemble a Jackson Pollock. So, yeah, I guess the name was just sentimental or something. But I love the horse. I think the horse is great. <laughs> and let's see. Last of the one, I think this is the last one that we actually know what it looks like, is Ansel, which is the gray blue roan pinto on the troubadour mold and honestly i had a hard time choosing between him and uffington for the vip ticket i chose uffington because there are fewer of them and it's another popular mold but i almost like ansel better and he is number one on my master list above anything else uh, once i got troubadour in hand I, I fell in love with the mold the color is is just stunning and I really want to see one of these guys in person he's beautiful so hats off there I think they did an amazing job sorry had to take a break to wash pineapple juice off my hands so that I could take a drink the last of the actual special runs is the Seven Arts Surprise. It's a surprise model, just like every other year. They don't tell us what it is, and if they do like they did last year, they're not gonna tell us what it is even during Briarfest. So there's no way of knowing what we're gonna get, how many of them there are gonna be, or, you know, anything. Um, I have a couple of guesses based on kind of the same scientific logic that I've used the past few years. Um, it is called Seven Arts. I have to assume there will be seven different ones. I do believe they will continue to do a glossy matte split. That has been the tradition since they started doing um, kind of the modern era of the surprise model when they didn't announce the mold ahead of time. And my gut feeling tells me that it's going to be Desitato. The next batch of special runs, technically the last batch of special runs, are the limited edition models. Uh, the first one is Josie, aka Queen of Hearts. That is the um, jumper. Sorry for my massive knife shot there. <laughs> it's the jumper, the Bristol mold, in a kind of weird brindle color. Um, I don't think they actually call it brindle. I think it's got another name. I could look it up, but I'm sure Briar has that all over their website. Anyway, I love the mold a lot and I really wanted this horse and it's one of the ones that I selected to pick up with my VIP ticket. Uh, VIP people were allowed to buy two of the limited runs ahead of time so you're guaranteed two of them uh, without it to be shipped in july so i went ahead and got josie i just really liked her i wanted that horse um and that's that's really all on that one she she's lovely i think they did a good job trying to make the the funky spots on her look good so i'm looking forward to seeing that in person the next one listed is prisma Prisma is the uh, crystal horse. And this year it is a miniature Sherman Morgan. I think that the Sherman Morgan looks amazing in crystal. And this one isn't one that you cannot back order. If you don't buy it at the event, you can't get it. Um, I have quite a number of the crystals. I try to get them virtually every year. So I really did want to get this horse and I went ahead and used my VIP to do so. Um, just, I really wanted it. I think it's pretty. There's, there's not a lot to say about the crystal. You're either going to love the mold and want it or not. That's, that's kind of all there is there. So I, like I said, I love it, and I went ahead and, and got it. After that, 
There is Reverence. Reverence is a Pinto Arabian on the Ashkar mold. And this is another one that was part of that accidentally shipped by Briar group. Um, it looks just as good in person as it does in the pictures. Um, seeing it in person made me a little disappointed that I hadn't used one of my slots to pick it up. But that was okay. Um, because it's one that's back orderable. So I can just order it during Briarfest weekend. And if I don't order quick enough or if my computer is slow, they'll ship it to me later. So no harm, no father. It is lovely. Um, and I'm pretty excited to try and get one of those. Next up is Fevril. This is on the American Dream Mold, the Rearing Classic. It is a tie-dye deco with gold zebra stripes. And that's about six too many adjectives for me. I love the mold. I have a, quite a number of them, probably too many of them, considering that I try not to have a ton of classics. And I just can't like it. I tried. I, I looked at it and I, I tried to make myself like it and I just don't. Um, I think it's the gold I don't like. I think I probably would have liked it if they'd have just left the tie-dye on it. Um, it's just not my thing. So it is back orderable. So hopefully everybody who does like it will be able to get themselves one. But you're, you're not going to have competition from me. So hopefully that will mean you get it maybe a little earlier. Um, the next is one that I do like. It's Apollo del Solis. That is the buckskin red dun ish creature on the Esprit mold. I have a love for this mold that I shouldn't. It, it's, it's an odd mold and I still love it. Um, honestly, I think this color kind of looks like the red done that they did on the hero, the hero surprise and illusion a couple years ago. Um, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I just think that the color is very similar and hopefully somebody gets one of these and has that red done and can put the two of them together and take a comparison shot because I think we're going to find that it is kind of a similar color, but Anyway, it's pretty, and I will be trying to get one of those, um, whether for the weekend or on back order. So that's that's what I got there. Um, this is another one, like uh, Josie and Reference, that's based off of the real horse. Uh, the next one on Briar's list is Pal's Palette. That's the plush. It's actually kind of cute this year. It's um, an Appaloosa with, instead of spots, he's got paint drops on him. And he's got a little palette that says Briar Fest. It's cute. I sometimes get the plush, I sometimes don't. It's really just going to depend on if I have to spend a ton of time clicking to try and do it. Because I don't think I like him that much. <laughs> he's not back orderable. They're, they're limited. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. So... That's the plush. He's very cute. And the last one on this list is the Stablemate Kaleidoscope. This is another one that's got a billion adjectives. It is a, it's on the Darwin mold, the little rearing, rearing, um, warm blood, warm blood lip is on or something. It is a variegated rainbow with purple splatter dapples over it. And that's a lot of adjectives, but this time I think it kind of works. I kind of like him. I am going to try and get one. The upside is, is if I get him here and it turns out that that color doesn't work as well in real life as it does in the pictures is he's, he's this big and he doesn't take up a ton of space on the shelf. 
Um, he is not back orderable. Again, he's one of the last ones that isn't. But there's quite a number of them, so I'm hoping I'll be able to get my hands on one of those. The last set uh, that's coming out is the um, Best of Briar Fest. I'm sorry, I know I'm facing away. I'm trying to make sure that I get everything right. It's the Best of Briar Fest set two. So we had set one last year, which was a bunch of raffle models and things like that. This year, it is kind of the same idea. They are replicas of models from the past. And before I go into that, I'm gonna take another break because I'm very sticky from all of the pineapple, which is now cut up. And I'm gonna wash my hands and get a drink. All right, I'm back. My hands are clean. I can drink and I can look at horses now. It's a much better, much better plan. Pineapple is all cut up, it's put away. Everything's good. So the stable mate set has five horses in it, all based off of special run models from the past. There is um, Into the Woods, which is based off of a diorama prize, con prize contest model, Happily Ever After. Pin Dragon, which is inspired by Camelot, an open show prize. Thumbelina, based on Tom Thumb, which was a reserve prize. Loxley, that's the Darwin from this mold, based on a volunteer model, Nottingham. And finally, there's Grimm, which was based on Peralt's, the early bird model from 2011. And an interesting side note, I won the early bird raffle that year, or technically my mom did since her name was on the tickets. But that was a fun and exciting story. And if you check out um, my video, It's Good to Be a Mouse, I will tell you all about it. But I'm looking forward to getting one of these sets. It is back orderable. So I'll pick it up in December if I don't actually get one of the ones that are shipped out in July. If for no other reason, then it would be nice to have the little Peralt souvenir um, since I no longer actually have the early bird model. Okay, everybody, that's all of the Briarfest 2021 special run models. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed hearing what I have to say about them and watching me cut up a pineapple very poorly. <laughs> um, if you have a favorite Briarfest 2021 special run, please let me know what it is in the comments. I would love to know. Uh, let me know if you have any ideas for things you'd like to see me talk about on this channel. And otherwise, let's uh, stay safe so that maybe we can do Briarfest in person next year. I am really looking forward to that. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe below and uh, cheers.